Well, it is that time of year when we are leading up to the NFL preseason for the Detroit Lions and training camp. With that being said, we are going to react to a game every single day when it comes to the Detroit Lions 2023 NFL season. Now, my math was a bit off. I was supposed to start this on the 30th, so I'm going to start it today. I'm going to release this video just out there, and then the 1st through the 19th, we are going to release one at 5 o'clock every single day. I'll premiere it. That way I can be in the comment section with you guys, and I can tell you, kind of chat along with what we were thinking at this time. So the games that I've gone to, I'm going to give you kind of a quick kind of summary of what it was like to be at that game. So the Kansas City Chiefs game, I remember it like it was yesterday. You guys know I went to it. I kind of chronicled my journey there, got up at, man, I, I actually did not sleep that night. I don't recommend anyone do this. I did not sleep, decided to drive, and almost crashed. If it wasn't for my, my wife's lane assist, I probably would have had to swerve uh, or maybe the side of the road would have woken me up. So I learned my lesson that day and decided that I would never, ever drive without some type of sleep, even if I, it, it meant that I – you know, just didn't leave at the planned time. So I drove to Kansas City. I get there, and it was like no other place I had ever been. It was I had so much fun that I would love to play them every year. I, I wish we were in their division because if we were in their division, we'd play them every year. Obviously, with alternate, we would play, uh, we'd play them twice, so I would get to go to Arrowhead every single year. But the atmosphere was unbelievable. It was hot that day. The crowd – had this, like, condescending attitude. Most of the people in the parking lot, their tailgate was phenomenal. Um, most of their fans were nice, but they were nice in, like, a pet your dog way. Like, oh, you know, you guys think you're going to do something. You had a great run last year, should have made the playoffs, blah, blah, blah. But we're the Super Bowl champions, and you guys are out of your league, right? So it, it got annoying after a while, but I had a great, great time. I uh, met a lot of Lions fans on the way. And um, actually, y'all don't know this, but I met Bernie Smilovich. If you go back and you watch just on YouTube, Google uh, Channel 4 Chiefs coverage or something, week one coverage, you might see Bernie, Bernie Smilovich. He was standing out in the he, – he, it was weird. It was some storms that had come through while I was on my way. And the storms wind up delaying his crew so he's at arrowhead and he's walking through the parking lot and i'm like what's up bernie i've you know, been watching you a long time since i was little and uh i offered my assistance but i had to go do the pregame the pregame show at the at the restaurant at char bar i believe it was so but he wind up going live he had to do it all by himself so he was there setting up the shot and stuff like that so anyway what we're gonna do we're gonna go through this i'm gonna kind of I might stop it here and there and tell you what I was thinking at this time. Without further ado, let's get started. Here are the Detroit Lions Week 1 highlights for the 2023 NFL season. Let's get it done. Their rookie first-round pick, Felix and Uduke, Now remember, no Travis Kelsey, no Chris Jones. The third and seven. Man, when, when golf did this, I was – my stomach was in my throat. Oh, this is the fake right here. Man. <laughs> I, I don't even think I saw that because I was expecting them to punt. Man, St. Brown was killing him. Josh Reynolds. He was catching stuff that day. Jameer Gibbs, is that, this is his first, woo, what a, man, what a carry, bro. Wow. You could tell Monty was going to be special the way he was running. I think we score. Yep. Here's the touch now. All right. So let me, let me, let me pause it right there. So I am sitting in section four something. I am on the side I can't remember what side I was on, but when when this happened, my I'm just like, we scored. I mean, we came out, and we knew from the preseason that our offense was not going to be a problem. And they came out, and this is the end of the first quarter, so it wasn't like they came out and and um, just took the ball down the field. 
But when they score, because they score, it was a couple three and outs or something like that from both teams. And when they score right here, I was just like, man, are we going to be able to do this? It, it was crazy that we were up first on the Chiefs. He got a fine for that, I think. <laughs> Let's start first with the big guys up front. This is not play action. This is everybody knows. That look how long this play took. And look at the protection. I can't tell you how much tape I Marvin Jones, man, I forgot about. Never get touched. Oh, yeah, because this is when Marvin fumbled. His first fumble of his career was in this game. Yeah, that was that was a great pass, great catch. Look at Pascal. Okay, Josh. All right. He still got the first. The spot says yes. Wrong goal. Oh, just found him. Officially five on first down. Mahomes clean pocket. Mark Wide open. Comes back to get it to the 25 yard. This Aaron th Rodgers and the Jets. Second and ten. Oh, look at that. Get him. See this? This. You know what? I'm not even gonna put that on the Lions defensive line. I'm not even gonna put it on the. Pacheco. Look at all that time. Look at all that time. You see what I'm saying? Touchdown. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Listen, I'm, I'm, we, last season is, is history. But look at the time Mahomes had, man. And I saw that PFF has our current defensive line ranked fourth in the NFL. I believe our offensive line is ranked first. This has to change this year. We cannot, I mean, Mahomes is special, but he still had way too much time with the increased talent in the secondary and the, the, the pieces we got on the defensive line, James Houston, Matthew Betts, Matt, uh, uh, Marcus Davenport. We, got, we cannot let quarterbacks take that long to throw. All right, so now we got a tie game. And what, where are we at? Early Welcome second. Here, Donovan Smith. Welcome in. Jawan Taylor, these guys. The Jawan Taylor was far starting all the time, man. Anytime you can rush forward, but I couldn't really see it from where I was. I had to watch it. I had to see it at home. Straight drop for golf. That old line. To the middle and complete to Brock Wright. Brock Wright. That's why we matched that offer. And a guy they know from Chicago. They saw him twice a year. Ah, way to step up, Jay. Ah, woo! Jay got some swag. Let's go. Let's go, man. I'm telling you, golf is going to get it done. Taylor be getting away with far starting, too. So Laporta. This when you knew he was going to be a dog. I wish Kelsey was in this game, though, so we could see him go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Ah, woo -hoo. Let's go. So I'm watching this from the – oh, this right here, that – oh, man. Third down and ten. Marvin Jones. We could have at least got three points from that. That's all they were trying to do, just maybe get the first, get some extra yards. Uh, man. Ah, off his back foot. Oh, my God. That's the position group. You look at this Detroit team. Are they a division caliber winning team? Another. Ah. See, that, that's a D-line for you because our offensive line is top notch. Look at him. Fall started right there. Still can't. I can't stand him. I can't stand him, man. I think it was seven tie game. Oh! Man, oh, so, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, right there, that was on Jerry Jacobs. I remember, I thought we, I thought we picked that off. I thought that was an interception. I remember jumping out of my seat. I'm like, yeah, and then I realized that nobody else, like nobody else was reacting like me. So I'm like, did he catch that? And lo and behold, he caught it. This was Jerry Jacobs from his cornerback position. Oh my God, man. He came inside. After the gain of 34, Mahomes right back to it. Back foot again. Wide open, man. So it was 10. First and goal. Was it 14 7? Yeah, it was four. They score. Uh, wide open. Wide open. So they go. We go into the half. 14 7. And I remember just saying to myself, we got to win this game. And 
we have to win this game. Look at that. No pass rush at all, man. Taylor Decker got away with another one. Man, Reynolds, man, Reynolds had a super bad game. Yeah. All right, so now we in the third quarter. Now we're we're trailing right here. So let me just tell you. So now it's halftime. And I went to, first of all, to Kansas City. The staff was super nice. The fan base was super nice. I saw eight. The fan base was nice, but you had like the arrogant, like a few arrogant people that were like very, very condescending of our team. But I remember seeing a ton of Lions fans. So now it's halftime. And I go get this slushy, man. You know, you can't buy <laughs> you can't buy alcohol in the third quarter. So, um, I mean, in, in the fourth quarter. So I go, and, and they had this tequila um, that was local. And, and what Kansas City does is they let local vendors come in there and uh, support local businesses and stuff like that. And Arrowhead is kind of like an open silver dome. Like, it's, it's just as big as the silver dome. Everything about it reminds you of the silver dome, the corridors. But it's open. So, like, you're on the... Some places are covered in the corridors as you're walking, and some some places are open. It reminds me, Levi is like that too. That we'll talk about when we get to the end of the series. But um, so I see a ton of right now. It's fourteen to seven, and I'm just like, okay, Lions, come on, man. We 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 need to win this game because we gotta. This is the everybody was talking about us starting this game. We started off the season and how we needed to like we shouldn't even be here. So I'm saying we need to win this game, man. And um, it's seven, and I just remember. Just, just let us let us tie this thing up so we can at least have a chance. To get to Kadarius on Tuesday. So this is third and six. Hi, the ah, right there. I'm jumping out of my seat. Another drop. Brian Branch tied it up. Let's go. And that now we back to square one. Patrick had so many drops in this game. I honestly think. Look at Brian Branch, man. From. The Absolutely moment that ball was snapped, he was all over it. It'll go down as an interception for Patrick Mahomes. Patrick was, <laughs> they was dropping everything. Always a big factor in there. Third and four. Mahomes. Okay, come on. Look at, ah, ah, that ridiculous. Woo! Look at what, what he did, though. Montgomery checks in. Doss throwing in the middle. Ah, St. Brown again. You could tell he was going to be a dog this year. Love that play. Love that play. Too bad. Ah, woo! Let's go. Talking about golf, don't have no swag. And it was a hit. Oh, I thought that was a fumble. I thought that was a fumble, man, when I watched it. This is just ridiculous. Get him. Did a little fake slide. Look at Hutch, the only one near him. That... See, and, and that's the thing when you gotta when you gotta blitz your linebackers, that's a problem because the middle of the field is wide open. We need to pick up Yannick and Gakwe, man. Look at it, going deep. Oh, and it was a pass interference. Yep, pass interference. That was the first time. Okay, Cam, look at him, toasted, burnt. Yes, it was pass interference. Look at that. That should have been holding. Should have been holding. Where's the flag at? That should have been holding. Lee McNeil. Third down and two. And it was a tie game for a long time because I think they get a field goal out of it. Oh, my God. That would have been the first down. So because of that, they had to settle for three. Watch the difference, man. Them drops were crucial. Super loud, second and 22. Jared Goff. Huh? Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Khalif, man, we missed him. We missed him in that NFC title game, man. Uh, oh, I don't think that was a good pass from JG. So now I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous now. Jawan Taylor, another false start. Ah, we didn't sack him one time. Oh, my God. I thought he was gone. I thought he was. This, I thought we lost right here. At all, what another one? Another push in the man. Oh, I can't, I can't stand Patrick. He just too good, man. Yeah, he get away. Steve, are you kidding? Are you kidding? 
Remember, we didn't sack this dude. Another drop. That wouldn't have been the first down anyway. We did not sack Mahomes one time. Ah, he missed it. He missed it, right? No, he hit it. He hit it. Now we're in the fourth quarter. We got to go the length of the field right now. My heart is in my chest. Ah! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Look at Josh, Josh, man. If he wouldn't have went out like he did, bro. But Steed came completely unblocked and just drilled Goff, barely got And look at Goff, man, how he got it in there. That was a great pass from JG. Play action. Remember, there's no J-Mo. There's no J-Mo in the first four games. Why? Goff. Yeah, let's go. Another one. Another one. I thought he was gone. Let's go. I thought he was gone, bro. So now I'm super excited. I'm like, here we got a chance. We just got a score, and our defense has to do something. Huh? Woo! I see you, Josh. We gonna miss. We gonna miss Josh, man. I don't care what none of y'all say. We're gonna miss Josh Reynolds. Somebody gotta step up. Let's go, Monty. First down and more touchdown. What a run! What a run! This is when David Montgomery showed his worth. Let's go. Now we up, and I'm saying to myself, the defense got to step up, man. What a defensive play. That was a great. Josh Pascal came right through there. Wow. I forgot all about that. We could have sealed this game, man. Hand off to Jameer. Oh. <laughs> Man, I thought the game was over right there. Uh, and so now I'm saying, is what's Dan going to do? Oh, we went for it. We went for it. Oh. Now, remember, all they needed was a field goal. That's it. I was like, dang, man, here we go. Oh, my God. Kadarius. That would have been game set. Ah, hit as he threw. So right here, I, 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 I thought we lost. Then the holding call pushed him back. So I'm like, okay. Because all, remember, all they needed was a field goal. Four-man rush. Good, another drop. Okay, CJ. Third down and 20. I'm like, two more stops. He holding James. Ooh. <laughs> CJ, you could have, you could have. Now here we go. This is the ball game. Watch this, man. So now it's fourth down and 25. And watch this play. I don't, I don't remember about if we got to Patrick, but I know it was a drop. Come on now. This was just ridiculous. And he, he still, if he would have caught it, that's a first down. Three, they got all three timeouts. All they would have had to do was kick a field goal. They just have not made their typical plays from the wide receiver position. Lions went for a fourth down, gained 15 yards to get the ball back. Chiefs are going to use the timeouts here. Monty. It still wasn't over. Third and two. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo! That's that's game. I remember so I remember watching and that that's ball game. That's ball game. Now check it out. Now I'm sitting. I don't even know. I can't see. I'm so far up. I didn't know if he got the first down or not. I had to kind of wait and see how everybody is reacting. If you go back and you watch. Uh, my live stream, the, the signal was horrible. It was horrific in uh, Arrowhead. But I'm, I remember, I didn't know. I couldn't see if he got it or not. And to find out he got it, and that was the ball game, I was so ecstatic because it went, the, the people said we shouldn't have started off. Chiefs fans on the internet was talking a bunch of junk. In the stadium, don't forget, earlier that day, the uh, Chiefs got their rings, you know, the the... They already got them, but they kind of like the, you know, pageantry, pageantry for it. They got their rings, man. So they had the three Lombardis on the field, all of this stuff. It, it was crazy, man. And I tell you what, Arrowhead is loud. It, it's open and it's still loud. Ford Field was loud uh, for that for the playoff games and stuff like that. But Arrowhead to be open 
it was loud, man. The first like 15 minutes, I had to my ears had to adjust. It was that loud, but I went and got me some earbuds after that, man. So anyway, wind up releasing. I'm gonna release this one um, on Sunday, so you guys can watch it, and then we'll we'll premiere. If we do one, we the Lions played 20 games. This was number one. And it'll take us up to the 19th, and then on the 20th, the guys will be back, and we can talk preseason football. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I know you've seen it already. Um, hopefully, you know you enjoy this stuff. I'm not all. I'm not bothered by numbers this year. This is about uh, me being a fan. So I'm gonna finish this series. We're gonna go about it next. Next tomorrow, we got the Seattle Seahawks. And we will talk about that and react to that one. That, was, that one's going to be tough, man. So you guys are awesome, man. Take care of yourself and each other. I'm on a different setup today. This is the green screen reaction setup, so I don't have any in credit stuff. But you guys know I appreciate you. I will catch you in the next video. Go Lions.